magandang araw mga kaibigan. This is Kesa from Shophouse Gaming and welcome to a new episode of Kesa Reacts. Ngayon, we will be reacting to the official gameplay reveal ng Elden Ring. Just to give you a little background, yung game na Elden Ring is a collaboration from George R. R. Martin and From Software Games. So yung From Software, kilala sila sa paggawa ng mga challenging games, particularly yung Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Demon Souls. While si George R. R. Martin naman, o Gr. Martin, ay kilala bilang author o may akda ng libro na kung tawagin ay A Song of Ice and Fire o mas kilala sa kanyang TV series format as Game of Thrones. So, tapos na yung intro. Let's go! Peggy 16 Oops. Peggy 16 meaning um, region to siya or somewhere in the greater English area nag-originate. So, yun lang. Kasi kapag ka sa US siya, ESRB yung rating na ginagamit nila. Sa bandang Europe o yung greater English area is, yun, PEGI. So, kumbaga sa ESRB is um, everyone, teen, uh, mature, sa kanya, yun, PEGI 16, and so on and so forth. The tarnished will soon return. Mm, very, uh, very souls-like yung entrada niya, no? So naitan yung adun sa opening credits. Um, si Hide Taka Miyazaki yung head ng From Software Games at si Gr Martin uh, yung author nga ng Game of Thrones is uh, they're having a collaboration to form um, this game. Elden Ring. So, it was announced later on around 2017, 16 or I don't know. Tapos nag-materialize siya this 2021. Na-push back lang siya to 2022 release early January ata. So, ayun. We're excited about this. So, Tarnished. Yung unang word na nakakot sa aking attention. Um, maybe ito yung um, um, kung sa Souls game, eh, ano sila? Uh, unkindled tapos si sa Sekiro naman si Wolf sa Bloodborne naman si Hunter um, I guess dito si Tarnished naman Tarnished okay uh, that's that's new guided by grace once lost incredible graphics the golden order is broken to its core wow. Sinaman niya yung kabayo. Wow. Malaki yung world niya. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the... Wow. Um, uh, as... As far as um, design concepts go, hindi siya nalayo sa ano eh, sa mga Dark Souls games, lalo na si Tarnished yung ating bida. The, the, the way na yung itsura niya, it was already seen in um, previous Dark Souls games or yung forma naman niya, yung the way nung kanina, yung pagsamo niya ng kabayo, it was like a move straight from Sekiro, I guess, yung how the motions are fluid and animated the uh, way na alam mong ano siya gawa ng from software if that makes sense um yung blood smears na ganyan yung the way the way he attacks um very cinematic ang ganda nung itsura so yung art style niya it's very reminiscent of the past uh past games ng from software so i guess Elden Ring is somewhere set in ano in uh, the world of Dark Souls or I don't know a multiverse or something like that. Yeah. 
let's go. Flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. They will fight. And they will die. In an army. Tumalun yung kabayo pata sa sa mountain ano. Siguro uh, kabayo will be ano uh, will be used as a not just a summon. I guess it's for traveling talaga. So yeah, it just says kung gaano kalawak yung magiging mundo ni Elden Ring kasi if you travel by horse um ibig sabihin malawak yung lugar kasi if you were to use a horse sa lugar ng Dark Souls um hindi mo siya magagamit ng ganon kasi you're meant to travel by foot i guess yung boss fights mukhang exciting siya um malalaki pa rin malalaki yung kalaban uh, like the usual ang bilis sila gumalaw so the game will be fast paced um siguro at least as low as Bloodborne or at as fast as Sekiro ganon eh kung hindi nyo pa nalalaro yung mga yun it's a fast paced game very action oriented so this one oh gorgeous graphics I hope na kapag sa PS4 nilabas hindi siya mahirapan so I'm very excited to play this game sa mga ano yung mga inner masochist nyo itcha-channel na itong game for sure because um, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, etc. is a very challenging game. It's not really hard per se. Pero if you have a knack for, ano, um, yung lagi kang patay, tas ulit ka ng ulit, then the game is for you. You should try it. It's very challenging, very rewarding um, sense of accomplishment and everything. Oh. My bonfire. So yun nga, uh, January 2022, holy shit, it's coming on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, and PC of course. So yun, uh, it has a wide variety of character designs, kung nakita nyo, um, kakaiba yung mga design nila, no? so it's usually sa mga Souls games, parang may ano siya eh para magkakamukha sila dito meron silang semblance sa ibang characters meron ding ano mga original ganyan pero grabe yung graphics napakaganda so i hope ganun to rin kalalabasan nung mismong game kasi trailers are meant to be pang-akit pero i really hope na ganito napansin natin yung pangalan niya si Tarnished ganyan at may pinakita silang bonfire uh, i guess it it will serve as save point gaya nung ano lanterns sa Bloodborne or yung statues sa Sekiro parang meron din siyang multiplayer function or multiplayer playability kasi yung nakita mo kanina yung parang meron siyang ano meron siyang kalaban na kulay gray ganun kasi yung mga nasa ano nasa Dark Souls kapag ka nagsaman ka ng kalaban or may biglang nag-invade sa yo there they look like um, colored phantoms. So, may pinakita silang ganun kanina. So, I'll expect na meron siyang multiplayer functionality. 
Oh, another thing na banggit ko kanina, yung tungkol sa horse. So, bukang malaki yung mapa na mga ngailangan ka ng horse. Ewan ko kung gimmick lang siya na when you're crossing areas, you'll be using a horse. Kasi sa Dark Souls, wala kang masyadong paggagamitan ng horse. Kahit na malawak yung area niya, it is filled with enemies. So, bawat konting lakad, konting kibot, merong kalaban. So, dito siguro meron silang empty plains na dadaanan mo. Tapos, after a while mo mga bayo, pagbago yung area, saka ka magkakaroon ng encounters na mga kalaban. So, I'm very excited to play. Lalo na yung nakita ko yung boss fights or yung mga paikipaglaban niya enemies using different weapons. Uh, that, that, that's... Uh, ang hirap i-explain. Basta excited ako laruin siya. Kung sakaling may pera ako, I will get it first day it comes out. There you have it, mga kaibigan. Tapos na episode natin tungkol sa Elden Ring at excited na akong laro nito kapag lumabas na siya. So, dating gawe, like, share, subscribe. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, kung nagustuhan mo yung palabas, comment ka kung ano yung gusto mong i-react ko sa susunod. Share sa mga friends mo na gusto mong ipakita yung shit na napanood mo. Ayan, kung gusto mo siya i-share, share mo. So ayun, kung gusto mo ko supportahan, pwede ka mag-join sa membership. O kahit mag-subscribe ka lang kung hindi ka pa subscribe malaking bagay na yon Hanggang sa muli, paalam!